So you know it's going to be a great day when you come home and you don't have just one but three boxes full of baits for you ready to be open. Um, I know that these top two are both from Bass Pro Shops and then I also got my Lucky Tackle box in today so we're just going to start in. Alright, so for the first Bass Pro Shops unboxing, first thing I have in here are some uh, Zoom Tennessee Shad 5 inch Super Flukes. These things are a confidence bait, as most people know. Uh, basically, they always work. Wherever you throw these, you're going to get hits, you're going to get bites. Bass love them. And, uh, yeah, this is a Tennessee Shad pattern, and I like the Tennessee Shad because they, they do have a darker top, which doesn't really matter. What most of what the bass are going to be seeing is the underbelly, which is kind of a, it's a little bit for darker stained water, which is what I fish a lot, so that's what I like to use, but, um, I also use some clear, so that's why it's kind of like a, silver flake in it too so that's awesome next i have the uh, bass pro shops tournament series the double dip tube and these are in watermelon slash gold silver flake that's these try to get a closer up picture see if i can open these up real quick um tubes are another one of those uh they're kind of an outdated bait a lot of people don't really use them anymore because there's so many other uh, baits on the market however don't sleep on tubes they mimic a lot of the bait fish that are on the bottom like crawdads and other kinds of bait fish usually you have some tube jig heads with these which um I believe I got some in here yes I do so you just throw a little tube jig head on there and when I fish these I'll show you guys how to do that but these are actually covered in salt which I got all over my hands now that's good. Uh, that'll really attract the fish. These are another awesome confidence bait that bass love to use these. Then I have the uh, the squirt heads, the 15 pack of the tube jig heads, which I'll be using on these. So these are always good to use. Um, you don't have to use a tube jig head. It's just most people do because they're tube jig heads for a reason. But there are some other hooks that I'll show you. Uh, later that you can use with those that are also equally as effective. Another thing I got is a the Z-Man Chatterbait. This is the one fourth ounce, and I got this in the black and blue. Again, I fish a lot of uh, dirty stained water, so I I went with the uh, darker colors here. Um, these this is a very versatile bait. Basically, it just swims through the water, and you can. Pretty much throw this anywhere and it'll also work. I got a, a lot of very versatile and uh, easy to use baits that are and definitely going to uh, produce stripes. This is the last thing I got in here and this is probably one of the best baits for boosting confidence that you can get out there. The Gary Yamamoto 5 inch Senkos. These Senkos are the watermelon and black and red flake Senkos which there are many ways you can fish a Senko you have uh, you have the weedless rig the weightless rig the I mean you can wacky rig them you can gojo rig them there's just all different kinds of ways that you can rig a Senko and these always produce bass love Senkos. I don't know a pond that I can't fish. The Senkos won't come up and produce big. So those are always a great bait to use. I believe that's all for my... That's all for that box. Moving on to the next box. This one's lighter. I think I know what's in here, but let me just... Should just be a pack of hooks in here, actually, that I ordered. I forgot to put in the other order, so as soon as, yeah, of course, as soon as I, uh, 
Yeah, just a bunch of paper and wrapping. As soon as I put in the order for the other box, I remember to buy these. These are just the uh, the three on offset uh, wide super lock worm hooks. These are the Bass Pro Shops, but these are what I use on the Senkos actually most of the time. Um, don't really use them for the flukes. I like the round bend worm hooks for the flukes, but I do use these on my brush hogs and a lot of the soft plastics that I like to throw. So I will get some use out of these. Probably should have bought like 20 more packs of these, but wasn't thinking about it and only got one. So it is what it is. Next up, I have my Lucky Tackle Box, the monthly subscription box that I subscribe to. Personally, I've said this before, and I've used a bunch of other different boxes, but the Lucky Tackle Box has always been the best box. I've had the Tackle Grab and the Mystery Tackle Box, and they're great boxes, don't get me wrong. They do a lot of the same stuff, and, you know, they're very... They're, they give you a lot of great baits as well, but I've always just preferred the Lucky Tackle Box. I think they give you the most um, baits for what you're paying for, and it's always worked. They always give you the Fish Hound Magazine, which has great articles on different fishing topics, as well as some coupons, like $5 off your purchase at Tackle Warehouse. Always use those. Uh, they have the... And I've gone over this in one of my other videos, of course, but they have the question and answer, and the better fishing times is what I really like to use. It shows you when the fishing is going to be good and when it isn't going to be good that month. So I always like that. Um, I know that Lucky Tackle Box right now is really big into the Special Ops Survivor thing. They give you a card right here that asks you to donate to the Special Ops. I'll definitely be looking into that. I always support our troops every chance I get. Um, my stepdad is actually a retired Marine Corps, so I like to support the troops whenever I can. It That's weird. It actually doesn't come with the card to show you what the baits are and how much they sell for. I don't know if they just forgot to put that in my box or what, but uh, I'll see what I can do. They always come with the Get Lucky, Lucky Tackle Box sticker, and... They threw in some lip balm, just a little trial sample for you. First thing we have is the Buddha Bait Company's 4-inch Baby Mamas. This looks like a, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that, but it just looks like a, a pretty bulky profiled crawdad. It looks like it's in the green pumpkin, yeah, green pumpkin color. It's basically just a bulkier crawdad. I know the Buddha Bait Company is uh, really big right now in parts where I fish. I know a lot of fishermen that are using these and uh, definitely be throwing these on the uh, on the jig heads and possibly just uh, as a crawdad, like a little weightless rig. Done that before, come up successful, so that's always an option. Next, I have the uh, the crawl tail jig. This is the 5 8 ounce, and I'm not positive, but I do believe that we've gotten one of these in a box before. But it's always good to have extras. You always need extras. Throw them off all the time, you know. Sometimes you lose them. So actually, what I'll what I'll be doing is what what I think they meant for you to do is use the crawl tail jig with the uh, Buddha Bait Company's the Baby Mamas. So, I'll definitely be trying that and pairing those up. They're pretty much the same color, which is really nice. So, I'll definitely be pairing those up and seeing what I can't do with the, with the crawdads. The other soft plastic I got is Bass Munitions uh, Soft Plastic. These look like the centipedes. They don't really say on here, but... Uh, like talk about this sent Bass Munitions products before. I think we got the... Bass Munitions Mini Breaching Beavers before, I believe. It was probably like two months ago, I believe. And those things are always working for me. Those are in my videos a lot. Um, you'll see that in my trip to Athens video. But I've actually not fished uh, the centipede baits before, so 
I'm going to have to look these up and see how to fish these, but I'm really interested in seeing. I know that uh, I've heard of people that use these a lot and come up very successful. Um, I like that what the Lucky Tack Box is doing is they're, they're staying with the same basic colors for at least my box I know of. I know that they send like different colors for different baits sometimes to different people, but I'm getting a lot of green pumpkin, which is good because I do fish a lot of dirtier sand water. I don't fish as much clear water, but you know that's always good. Uh, next, we got the Mustad Wide Gap uh, TU Special Pack. It, uh, it comes with five of the size four hooks. You see right there. Um, haven't used these much, not gonna lie. However, I know this is a very versatile rig that you can use on a lot of different baits. I think they'll probably want you to use that with the centipede, but I'm also probably going to use these for wacky rigging. Uh, I don't have a lot of wacky rig hooks right now, and I do believe that I can wacky rig with these, so I'll, I'll most likely do that. Got two more baits for you here. Um, the Vicious Fishing Rumble Minnow. I actually haven't seen too many baits like this before. This is actually pretty new to me, and it looks absolutely amazing. It uh, it has weight distribution. I don't know if you saw it before, but it has the four rings on the top, and uh, that's a, that's to control the depth that it's diving. I believe if you point it more towards the, if you put the ring more towards the front, it's going to dive a little bit deeper, and back it's going to dive shallower or vice versa I'm not very sure I haven't fished one of these before but I'll definitely be trying this out I believe this is trying this is supposed to give the fluttering of the bait fish motion which is really cool I got it in like a dark blue I wonder if they have a name for this chrome blue and this is a half ounce size so I can definitely get this out there and this will work very well last thing I have for you I know that I've already seen the video of uh, the Lucky Tackle Box put out for this. The Throwback Lures Walk-In Paycheck. This is just a little walking bait. Um, it'll get those top water reaction strikes. It looks very good actually. Uh, from what I saw on the Lucky Tackle Box video, it looks extremely successful. And because they put out the videos on YouTube, and I'll leave a link to the to Lucky Tackle Box's channel, but they do put out the videos on how to fish <clears throat> excuse me how to fish the baits that they give you in each box and that's very helpful that way they're not just throwing you a box full of baits you don't know how to use they show you how to use it that way you can be successful out on the water and it says it has tournament grade hooks um, I'm actually very curious about that because I know that a lot of baits like this it already costs so much for them to make the bait that they don't always put on the best hooks but Oh wow, those are actually very sticky hooks. That's nice. Very high quality there. So, this is what it looks like outside of the box. Just a little walking bait. Uh, probably use this like with the rod tip down, just twitches on slack line, give it the very erratic motion that you like. So, that's everything for all the boxes. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel below. I'll actually be trying to put out a lot of videos lately. I know that I have this video my trip to Athens, Georgia video that I need to put out. I will be doing a Lucky Tackle Box Slam as well as I'll be showing you how to use all the baits that I got in my Bass Pro Shops video and I'll put the link to the Bass Pro Shops where I got all these in the description as well. And um, I'm actually working on stocking a pond right now for with uh, bass, bluegill, all that so Hopefully me and my buddy will be able to get out there and get some more fish for you and I can film some of that for you. Right now we're, we stocked the pond with bluegill and rock bass, but we're also mainly looking for the largemouth bass. So we'll get around to doing that and hopefully I can get some of that on video. Again, if you liked it, make sure to subscribe and thank you for watching.